All right, welcome everyone inside. I'm excited to get this show going. All right, now one of the first things you're gonna notice as we go throughout this house is this is a wainscoting paradise. There is so much wainscoting throughout this entire house and it is beautiful. There's so much custom woodwork, it's incredible. Now behind me, you're gonna see this later, but this is an interior courtyard surrounded by all sides. It's a fantastic feature because it shields you from all the wind that we get in Las Vegas. Great, great, great feature. Before we go upstairs, I'm gonna show you this area first and then we're gonna go to the fan room and dining room. So first here we have the formal dining room. Again, absolutely wonderful woodwork around, lovely chandelier. We have our tray ceiling with additional woodworking in, in laid, very nice. You'll notice that all of the surrounds in the house, all of the framing is just wonderful woodwork, all ties together. We do have a little uh, powder bathroom, which we'll get to later. Now we're in the main space, kitchen family room. So let's start in the family room, work our way back to the kitchen. Here in the family room, again, very lovely. You have a nice decorative ceiling. They did a wood inlay inside the tray of the ceiling. Very nice custom touch. I love this chandelier because I have the same one, West Elm. Thank you. Uh, again, continuation with the wainscoting, the custom woodwork, lovely furniture. Over here we have our media wall, so television, we have our fireplace, a little bit more modern but not completely contemporary, at least it's not the old 4x3. We've got custom shelving, a little custom built-in, nice symmetry on both sides, so it's a really nice perspective, really like that. Now let's head over to the kitchen area. First we're going to talk about this wet bar. Now, the wet bar, we have quartz countertops, very, very nice, very elegant. All the drawers are soft closing as you would expect from this home. Nice glass inlays in the cabinets. We do have a wine chiller below here. Try to get some B-roll for you there. Love the pendant lights. Very, very nice, very expensive, very designer. Continuing down this way, more cabinetry. Now, this is a little unique. We actually have Caesar stone counter surfaces for the island and the extended island. You'll see this in a lot of the newer homes. This is another feature that's become quite popular, extending the island in this way, so that way everyone's involved in the kitchen. Very nice. All right, in the kitchen, first off here we have the farm sink. We'll get to a little bit more of that in a minute because <laughs> this is awesome. So we do have a built-in Sub-Z refrigerator. This is pretty much the most expensive one you can get. Has the window feature. We're looking like 20 Gs right off the cuff. Most of the appliances are Wolf. So we do have a built-in Wolf microwave. We do have the Wolf built-in single oven with a warming drawer. Very, very nice. Now over here, when we come to this area, we do have a built-in Wolf grill top, not a cooktop. If it was a cooktop, it would be cut into the countertop with the controls embedded on the top. This is a grill top. You can tell with the controls in the front. We have the matching ventilation hood also by Wolf. I'm a simple person in some ways. Even though I can be bougie, I'm simple. This is one of my favorite, favorite features that every home, if you have a home that's over $2 million, it should have this, love this. We have dual dishwashers. So whether you're entertaining or have a million kids or just cannot stand to have dirty dishes like me, this is your best friend. All right, now let's come check out this courtyard because I absolutely love this, love this idea. In general, a lot of courtyards are romantic, but you never use them. Why would you want to stare at a wall when you could be out back staring at your pool? But this is unique, right off the kitchen, of course, we have our dining table, so you can enjoy some dinner al fresco if you like. And then of course, we have a nice seating area topped off with the Italian string bulbs. Very romantic, very, very nice. Would be a great place in winter time, spring time. I love it. Now we're gonna go back inside and I'm gonna show you a really unique feature that you don't normally, well, pretty much never see. Now, as we slowly come down this hallway, this is crazy. To your right, this was the courtyard that we were just in. But to your left, we have a mirroring area. This is a patio cover. It's completely covered by three sides. So again, you're pretty shielded from the wind, but this has the vantage point of the pool. We're gonna show you a lot more of that later. What's neat is that you can open both of these sliders. I wish these sliders were uh, pockets. Unfortunately, they're not. But still, on a beautiful day, this will give you seamless indoor outdoor living. Very unique, you do not see this often. Now, welcome to the master suite. 
Inside the master, we do have a retreat. Um, I'm not a huge retreat fan because I don't sit around reading books outside of bed or doing anything, but I digress, people love uh, retreats. So you have your lovely chandelier. We have our tray ceiling with dual crown molding. Very, very nice. Lovely decor. Whoever did the interior design of this house did an incredible job. Now, we have a nice Calcutta marble herringbone design around the fireplace. A little more contemporary. It's a two-way fireplace. So this also goes out to that covered patio area that we showed you earlier. Very, very nice, very elegant. <laughs> now, we'll get some B-roll footage of this, or Ashley, if you can even come around this way, because this is just funny. So we have a door that leads to the covered patio, but what is this? What is this? What is this? This is a door that doesn't open. Kind of weird. Can't say I've seen that before but I do love the frosted look. I do love the symmetry that it offers. I'm a huge freak for symmetry. So the fact that you do have this door and the window, again, leading to the patio, I do like that concept just for the symmetry sake, but weird to have a door that doesn't open. Now, inside the actual master bedroom, again, we have our tray ceiling with a coffer. We have dual crown molding, television over here. Lovely, lovely, lovely decor, continuation of wainscoting. This is all wood frame, this transition here. All of this is top notch. Now inside the bathroom, we have marble countertops. This is marble paradise. So marble countertops, I like what they did. Now these were the stock mirrors. A lot of times people frame them. Instead of framing the bottom, which most people do, a lot of times you get water intrusion and then they start to warp and look terrible. They left that out, but I do like the way they framed it in. It's a more modern contemporary look. Again, we have our bathtub in the middle. Lovely job with the marble surround, looks top notch. Coming down this way, you got your towel hooks, light sconce fixtures, beautiful bathroom. It's gonna be a little dark in here, but in here we have the master closet. It's all custom. There's a lot of light bulbs missing, so again, I apologize for how dark it is, but it's a lovely, moderately sized closet, lovely carpet. We're gonna back up a little bit farther. And now over here, we have our toilet area. Even this looks like an Instagram photo. Uh, and then we have our shower. We'll get some B-roll footage. We do have a rainfall shower head. Very nice, very elegant shower. No steam function, nothing crazy, no body sprays, but still a very, very, very nice feature. All right, going back through this living space, we're going through the portal. I do love this back through the portal, back to the family room and kitchen. And we'll actually swing down this way because we didn't show you the butler pantry. So as we come down here, we do have a pantry here. It's a relatively moderate sized pantry. This is the butler's pantry. We do have cooling drawers. So if you want to put your alcoholic beverages or water bottles, you do have two drawers. Very, very nice. Coming back through the dining room area because of the butler pantry, you can see that. Now, as we come down this wing, we have a really unique laundry room. It's not the largest laundry room, but you have kind of, again, there's multiple mud rooms. So you kind of have a little mud room deck where you can sit. I guess you can bang out some work if you really needed to. So you got a little desk area, more like a folding area for towels. This simple, but I love. Washer dryer area. They topped it with the quartz countertop. So again, you can fold your towels, do whatever you want to do. A really nice, elegant sink and faucet. Very, very nice. We have another linen closet. And again, as we come down here, it's a little tight, but we have another mud deck area. So we have a mud deck area, and then we have a door that comes from the front of the house. Um, so you could literally, if for some reason you wanted to, you could come in here. But here's, the, here's what makes this really unique. If we were to close this off, this is a, literally a separate dwelling. So if you have an older family member living with you or a kid in college, you can quarantine this area and it's a completely independent living space. This would be essentially be their front door and then come in here. This would be the bedroom for this additional living space. So right now it's lined with wallpaper, very elegant, very nice all the way around. They did a wonderful job of all the ceiling trays. So you've got nine ceiling trays in here, all with custom woodworking. Beautiful. Uh, the floor, 
that we didn't discuss, the flooring throughout the house is actually hand scraped real wood. Very nice, very elegant. In here we have a marble countertop, a nice cabinet still. We have a clean subway tile look with an inlay. It is what it is. Now this is where it gets kind of cool. As we come over in this direction, we do have a, a closet walk-in, but for whoever lives here, this would be their office. Office, family room. Again, this is a wonderful space if you have an older person living with you or that college kid. And again, we have an external door. This external door will lead out into the courtyard entry to the front of the home. So again, this could be a separate dwelling to itself. Again, here we have a uh, built-in for television. So you could actually just throw a television up here either way. Um, this would actually be the entry area from the garage. So over here, we actually have a third bay garage. So again, if this is gonna be used as a separate dwelling, they would have access from the garage right into the interior space. This kind of turns into a dumping ground mud room. Then they'd walk into their family room or office. And again, through the bedroom. So we're almost done with the downstairs. We're gonna continue walking this way. Sorry, it gets to be a little bit like a labyrinth, but now we're back to the main foyer where we started the tour. Now here we have a linen closet. And how many mud rooms can you have? Here's another mud deck. So we can sit right here, take our shoes off. This is the door from the two car garage. It's just a garage, there's no point showing you. You've seen a million of them. Now, we've finished with the downstairs. Now we're gonna go ahead and see the upstairs. So let's go upstairs and check this out. Now we're upstairs and this is a wonderful space. Now behind me is a loft, but before we see the loft, this is, this is kind of funny. You could close it off, but you do have a lovely balcony here again. Here's the exterior access door to that balcony, but now this is the loft area. Now, it's currently open and beautifully cased in all this wood. You could close this off. You could make this into a movie theater. Right now, as you can see, they've set it up as a viewing room. So you have the television. Behind it is some shiplap. Little subtle, very, very nice touch. Again, wonderful, wonderful. I'm gonna have Ashley spin around this way because I'm gonna show you again. If this room were closed off, you probably would want uh, access to the balcony. So. If this were a closed off loft, here you go. Access to the balcony, we'll throw on some B-roll. All right, now pay attention to this landing area. It's just beautiful. It's a wonderful space when you're actually here, it just feels wonderful. Now first we're gonna go into the spia, Spiaga room, Spiagia. Anyhow, this is a secondary bedroom. This was a, I believe a kid's bedroom. Pretty nice, nothing too crazy going on. We have a nice feature here for the light. This is a suite, so it does have its own bathroom. So coming into the bathroom, we do have our quartz countertops, kind of obligatory at this point, nice custom light feature. We do have a subway tile shower. So in the shower, it's subway tile, it's set as a herringbone design, very nice, lovely uh, decorative flooring, nice suite. All right. We do have a little custom closet, small walk-in, but it gets the job done. Here we have another linen closet. Over here we have just some custom built-in shelves. Again, an exterior door to this balcony. And then we come to another secondary bedroom. So lovely bedroom, lovely custom woodworking, a little dark in here, but we do have a light fixture. The owners left the television. And again, we have a similar tile floor. We have a different quartz countertop in this bathroom. And the continuation, we have subway tile. This one's a gray instead of a white. It's set as a normal subway tile layout instead of the herringbone. And then we have the same hexagonal Calcutta marble uh, shower pan that we used for the fireplace surround downstairs. So, uh, I'm, even I'm getting lost up here. And then of course, because this is a suite, you do have the access to this balcony. So again, it's kind of odd that they give access to the balconies from the bedrooms as well as the hallways. So that pretty much is wrapping up the upstairs. So without further ado, now that we've seen the inside of the entire home, let's go ahead and check out the backyard, all right?
All right, so now we're in the patio area that leads to the backyard. As you can see, I opened the slider because it's already hot as hell out here anyway, so might as well keep it going. So we have that slider that leads to the family room and to your right over here is the slider that goes to the hallway which also leads to that courtyard interior access. Now, this is set up as a nice little viewing area, so you do have a television. Here's the fireplace that we saw. It's a two-way fireplace, so this is the same one that we saw inside the master suite. So, of course, we have the door from the master suite, and of course, we have the faux door, the pseudo door, whatever you wanna call it. Not my favorite feature, but you do have a custom wrought iron gate here. I don't know if this is for security measures. There is a street that's pretty shielded behind us, but I think it's a little unnecessary, but it still looks wonderful. Very, very expensive, very nice. So let's come out to the backyard area. Ooh, I wish I had sunglasses right now. Now the pool is fantastic. Uh, you do have a self-cleaning pool. Over here, you have one, two, three water features. So these would actually be a cascading sheer descent, like a little waterfall, if you will. So very nice. In this area over here, we have artificial turf. So plenty of room for kids to play, pets, what have you. The entire surround of the pool and even the like pavers, it's all travertine. So you have a really nice hardscaping. Panning over to this area, again, here's where we came from. We have the wrought iron to the patio cover. Now we have our spa jacuzzi area here. We have a lovely, lovely, lovely covered patio. So if the weather is absolutely perfect, no wind, this is the place to be. It's a lovely vantage point. Now, right here, we have a fire pit. So this would be really cool for those winter nights as well. I'm sure we'll get a photo up, but behind the sheer descent in the middle, we also have another fire pit feature. So that's wonderful. All right, well, that's it for the backyard. Let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Well, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed the tour, but I really wanna hear from you. What was your favorite part of this house? Was it the balconies? Was it all the mud rooms? What custom features did you really, really appreciate the most? Special thanks to Ryan Melvin with Simply Vegas for allowing me to shoot this listing. It was a privilege. Again, thank you for watching. Please click to subscribe. Please like the video and stay tuned because we've got so many more of these amazing homes to show you. See you on the next one.